Turn your volume, turn on your volume and welcome to Evision Live with Dr. Alexander Kleberg and Dietrich Busacker. Evision Live, your broadcast on self-healing and potential development. And we have been discussing the last three episodes on the archetype of childhood. And we will still stay a little bit today with the archetype of childhood. We have to wrap up a little bit. We had, we're talking about authenticity. We have mm -hmm. been talking about emotions. We have been talking about emotional safety and okay. basic trust. And there's a fourth element that is missing. When you're talking about a child, childhood, what could it be? Play and flow. So today the topic is play and flow and we brought along our red noses and we have also our magic wand with us. Because, well, uh, what has it to do the red noses actually with our topic? Actually, this is, for me this is the symbol of wisdom okay, and not of the child, but they are very close together. Like there are old people where we say they are as curious again, as uh, cheerful as a child. When you really have wisdom, you are very cheerful and childlike in mm -hmm. a way. I've uh, had a conference with the Dalai Lama and uh, he came to the conference with shorts and with a baseball cap. And he was very, very funny. It was on psychoneurological uh, research on happiness. And he was like a, like a boy. Okay. When he came there and he sat in a chair like this. And he was really, really funny. And he was playing. He, he was, was playing. playing. He yes. was very playful and cheerful. And uh, so the archetype of wisdom and the archetype of childhood are, I think they are close together in a way. And the red nose is a connecting element. <laughs> yes, maybe. Um, it's when we are cheerful, we have the feeling the universe is friendly, right? Yes. We wouldn't do that when we are scared. Yes. So sometimes this helps to get the fear off. Off, out of the way. Everything, if you put it on, everybody will laugh. I hope you laughed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, the emotions change. The emotions change with the nose. If you see somebody with a nose, you, your emotion changes. And if you put it on, it might change as well. I uh, think this is a very, very good tool when you're in a traffic uh -huh. or in a traffic line. So some might just onk. And then you put on the nose and the energy changes in yes. a way. So some of the people from my groups did that and they have a nose in their, in their car, they have it in their purse and they have it beside their bed and so forth. So right. this might be a symbol for playfulness as well. Yeah. And while we're playing, we're also having the magic wand here. and. I was just, uh, yes, you have, you're writing also a children's book where you're addressing yes, it actually the that's inner child. That's my way of playing. Yes, that's your it's way of playing. And books. I have it somewhere here. Yes, here it is. Uh, this is the first one. You are extraordinary. Look at this dreaming child. Uh, dreaming is also, I think, an important element. Your extraordinary mm -hmm. power tips for happy kids, it's mm -hmm. called. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are actually, uh, yes, uh, magic exercises for the children where, where, where they can play, where they can actually experience things with it. Mm -hmm. um, this your way of playing. Writing is my way of playing and especially writing children's book, uh, books I have, I don't know, three or four in a row. And I sometimes you say you have to work on this and that, you have to finish that book or make that seminar or something. And then I say, oh, I need to write a little bit on this children's book because it relaxes me, it, it's fun. And I do it together with a Vi Vietnamese artist and it's... Yeah, very creative and I really, really love to do that. And it's not that 
that theoretical it's not that uh, scientific as the grown-up books yeah. i write although i love to write them as well i love writing if i would decide for myself i would sit in a wooden house in a forest with a view over the Alps or a lake and i would write most of the time no people okay nothing, so. okay but this will mean you're quite autark then in this case. Yes, yes, that's... Okay. Yes, that's... Um, I said I'm from a farm and I was very much alone, so I learned to be on my own. But and you played play. alone. Play. I love to play. My parents didn't ask me so many tasks I had to do. And since I was a little girl and I had a brother, Uh, they weren't very much into my school things because I was just okay. a girl. So I had very, very much time for myself and I was playing with our cats, I was playing in nature, but most of all I love to play with dolls. And okay. I played with dolls till I was, I think, 12 or 13 and I sew them dresses and I played weddings or I played school classes. I had, I don't know, five, six, seven dolls and I love, love, love to do that. And uh, since I actually, on a farm, you, you shouldn't be too girlish. You have to wear pants and to be practical in a way. Mm -hmm. And these dolls, they were princesses and queens and mm -hmm. okay. beautiful girlies. And so I played out what I couldn't be on the farm. I played out with my dolls and I really, really loved it. We were nowadays, we are adults, so we don't have that much time to play. So how can we get into this, uh, well, how can we use this experience of playing, how we can integrate But this in our I daily life? I think we do have enough time to play. But people do different things. They watch the news mm -hmm. or they read the newspaper or whatever. I think if I have time to play and write children's books and I have a, I don't know, 70, 80 hour working week. So I think everybody else can have time to play in a way. Um, but you have to decide for taking time to play mm -hmm. because a lot of time people say, oh, this is more important and this in play is doesn't make sense and it doesn't bring you money or whatever. It does. We know a lot of big, big, big research and ideas came from playing. Mm -hmm. A lot of, mm -hmm. uh, I think even Einstein had some of his theories, they came from dreams. Mm -hmm. Some scientists. But dreaming, dreaming. Yes, yes, dreaming, playing, hiking, doing just something else rather than just. Uh, being in this frontal cortex and thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't think a solution to a problem, actually. You have to, it, it needs other neural psychological connections in the mm -hmm. brain. Mm -hmm. And the, the center of playing is fantasy, is magic. That's why you have mm -hmm. a magic wand. And it's the land of possibilities, mm -hmm. the land of yeah. opportunities. Yeah. And this is very, very, very important because our actual life is very formed and strict and narrow. Mm -hmm. And it's really good, great to widen up to get ideas on how to solve problems and how to connect with your deeper or higher self, how to connect with people. And even how to, if you have a conflict there, uh, then to to solve it in a play. Mm -hmm. How can you do that? To solve a conflict in a play? Doing role play or no? But this yes, is... for example, when I had problems with my mother, mm -hmm. she was uh, bitching at me, then I bitched at the dolls. And oh, so okay. I released the energy and then mm -hmm. I could talk in another way with my mother again. Mm -hmm. For example, so um, it's play is uh, the grown up word for play is maybe flow. Mm -hmm. And the really, really magic word is slow flow. Slow flow. 
We have Good that on lo longevity is that you puzzle around all day, you do this and that, and it comes from your heart, it comes from your spirit, it comes from your fantasy, and you're not in this rational mind. And so you're doing things, and then you dream a little, and you do things, and you dream a little. And I feel this as a very, very blissful state of mind. So this you're connecting the flow state of mind with the, with the inner child or with the archetype of childhood. I think with children we would say they play mm -hmm. and maybe with grown-ups we do play too but it's, uh, maybe it's more like a state of flow just mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to fantasize, to visualize, to meditate even, to be creative. Mm -hmm. So... I think this is the most, one of the most blissful moments in life, mm -hmm. is when you forget about the outer world, it's mm -hmm. not dangerous, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. hostile, and you're just within yourself, you're very centered, mm -hmm. and you bring it out at the same time, you, you mm -hmm. sort of resonance, or bring resonance into the outer world. Okay, and how do, can I get into this flow? Are there practices, are there exercises to get into it? Or? I think when you're very, very busy, you really have to make yourself a structure for that mm -hmm. and to stop being busy. Sometimes I'm telling you when you're really busy and have no time, mm -hmm. it's the best time for playing. Okay. Okay. So if <laughs> it's so you relax your thinking and your being busy and you go into other worlds. Okay. If you don't have time, then it's a moment to stop and, and take play. your time and play. And take your time and play. And uh, I think if you're very busy, you should have a structure on flow or for playfulness. So you so you really have maybe your alarm clock which says stop what you're doing, stop it, stop it, stop it and relax, maybe write, maybe paint, maybe dance, maybe create something, maybe write, make a poem or whatever, make a speech, I don't know. Just do something else which brings you out of this narrowness into the wideness of the, this very, very friendly universe. Mm -hmm. Great, beautiful. Um, yes, what else can we do? But uh... I personally, I love to write. You can also read or maybe there are even some some uh, you can go to a theater mm. to get inspiration you can put on the nose okay or you can take your newspaper and cut off maybe 10 words mm -hmm. and put them in a row and make a story out of that you can train that mm -hmm. to be creative and to come more and more into flow or you can do what we call in german automatic writing you start writing, oh, I'm very stressed right now. I have so many things to do and now I have to write. I have to play. What is play? That's play is nonsense. Actually, I don't want to play. I have to do my job, but now I shall play. What is play? Play, play. It's been 30 years that I've played and I, I did play with my grandfather and I did this and that and blah, 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 blah. And you write without stopping. So the unconscious mind, your fantasy takes over okay. and then you come into flow. Great, beautiful. So that you can do. You can train it with your partner, you can play with children, just mm. take some time, a day, a week where you are together with children and you just play. You crawl on the floor or you be a lion or you be a... And uh, a superstar or a hero or a princess or whatever uh, you can go to the theater and play yourself so there's many many ways where we grown-ups can play and even in families in relationships it's very very important to be playful to make fun to make jokes oh yes to be Sometimes you get out of bed and you jump into the toilet and yes, say, yippee, 
I'm Superman or whatever. That's what and I'm doing in the morning. It. I, lo I love, I love this from you, actually. The way you're getting up in the morning, we had this exercise and really uh, starting the day with some uh, cheerfulness, cheerfulness and playfulness. And playfulness. Yes. Yeah, this, this, sometimes I'm doing that exactly. Yes. yes. And take this your time, lie down on a beautiful meadow and start to dream again. Just look at the clouds. Maybe you see elephants, you see hamsters or whatever. Uh, and start dreaming. Your hamster exercise. Exactly. I have an exercise, it's called Out of the Hamster Wheel, something yes, I like think that. So, yes, yes. Get out of the hamster wheel. Get out of the. from brooming to grooving, something like that. There was a play in the English language. Yeah, and it's. Uh, and you have a, you have also this imagination. If we yes, we can put it on. You can get it. I don't know for for very very little money on Amazon, and it was inspired by my groups because they love to think. Okay. To think, to think, to think, to think, and sometimes they can't even sleep because they're thinking, 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 and uh, I think it's energy when this universe is hostile. Mm -hmm. Then we get in this sympathetic mood, there's adrenaline and some other um, hormones that that we, we, we flood the body with mm -hmm. and actually we should run or fight yeah. and we are very well behaved and we don't run and we don't fight so all the energy goes into this goes up into the head into this yeah. hamster wheel and we yeah. we think and we can't sleep and the imagination is that we stop this hamster wheel and that we take off the little hamster and cuddle it and caress it and then put it on a beautiful spring meadow to play and yeah. then we jump onto this beautiful spring meadow and we ourselves play and dream and dream and dream. Beautiful. And this you can download. We put the link here. And uh, actually, I know that the, there's one of these, uh, also one of your heart lights. And you, uh, there's also was with this image exactly. with, the, with the hamster on the meadow, and then mm -hmm. imagine just you let your hamster free on the meadow and uh, let him play. And, uh, and so this heart light is also an impulse. You can subscribe to it, and you get it every day. It's just an image, and it says, "Please imagine that." Take and some of them, if, the and some of them, if the heart lights you find down here in our Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, page and I did but this. you can get it as you said you can subscribe it and you get it daily in your inbox and you yeah. don't miss anything and it's like in really day very short daily impulse you get and uh, I think many to people like it to get it. your thinking and to imagine really crazy things yeah so you start to play with yourself again so this is a good thing to exercise your daily play yes yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Back on the with the red noses. So see you again next Tuesday at the same time, or whenever you want to watch us. And uh, thank you for being here. Please leave your comments below. We love your thumbs. We love your hearts. So please give and us your comments to and your learn comments. to improve, and we like to play with you. Yes, so let's play and please uh, give us your comments below and thank you so much. Open your heart and start.